you, please. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you. All right, so welcome everybody to our first snack time demo. So we're focusing on snacks a little bit for improve your intake. Part of our um, part of the reason for this is when we are increasing our fiber, we want to do so really gradually over time. Increase a little bit here and a little bit there. Going from zero to sixty for fiber means you're not going to really feel that good. So adding fiber at our snacks is a way to make sure that we're just increasing our fiber a little bit each day. So we're going to focus on on smaller portions. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, while we were while we were all on, I started preheating some oil. So I'm going to go ahead and, and put my two kernels in this hot oil so that they can get started. And while they're getting started, I'm gonna let you know um, what we're doing. Also, it's thundering and lightning at my house. So if I suddenly go away, it means that probably the power has gone out. So I apologize ahead of time if that happens. All right, so for this recipe, we are making hurricane popcorn. I'm gonna go ahead and have Sophie um, show us how to find this recipe so that we can all be following along if we want to. All righty. So all you do is you pop over into your browser and you log in to your portal here. And then you're gonna go all the way over past challenges. You'll either have challenge details or a tab that says more. And you'll click challenge details and you'll see on your left the snack of the week we got our recipe switched over a little bit early by the, oh. the company that manages this what? website but never fear i have it ready to go in our chat Thank so you, i Sophie. will send everybody i didn't even i will that. send it to everybody that's next week's surprise sneak peek all right thanks for showing um while sophie was showing that our two kernels in there have already popped. So now, while they're popping a little bit, I'm gonna explain about um, popping popcorn on the stove. So you can absolutely make this recipe with um, pre-popped popcorn. You can use an air popped popcorn that comes in a bag. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it with microwave popcorn. I would use some sort of air popped popcorn for this. So if you wanna skip, skip the step of this, you can absolutely start with pre-popped popcorn. What we've got going on here though, is um, a good way to customize it and to make sure that you're adding exactly what you want. So the most important thing while you're popping on the stove is that you wanna be shaking it while it's going so that it doesn't burn. We've got about two tablespoons of heat safe oil in there. I've used an avocado oil, it's got a nice neutral flavor and it's, it's heat safe. It says on here 500 degrees smoke point to make sure that it doesn't break down over the heat um, so that it's safe to use on this really direct source of heat when they're popping popcorn. So we've got a quarter cup in there, which should hopefully pop to about four cups. It did when I tested it. We'll see how it does today. And you just want to shake it around until it seems to stop popping. And I think they're there. So you can see all of my little kernels have popped. So they're going into my little bowl. This looks like it's just under four cups with a quarter cup of popcorn. All right. Has anybody here ever popped popcorn on the stove before? And does anybody have any questions about popping on the stove? That went pretty fast. Yes, I know. Sophie said, wow, that was fast. That was really fast. It's faster than I was expecting. Um, okay, so we've got a popped popcorn. Now we're going to get ready with all of our things. Aditi says she hasn't popped popcorn on the stove. Um, so the most important thing is to have a lid. I forgot to mention that. You definitely want a lid over the top so it doesn't go popping all over your kitchen because it absolutely will. Um, the reason that we start with two little kernels in the oil is to tell when the oil's hot. So you don't really want the kernels sitting in an oil for a really long time while it's heating. You wanna put your cold kernels onto the hot oil. So by putting you know, two or three kernels in there, you know that your oil is ready when those two pop. Um, the other fun thing about popping things on the stove is technically you can pop anything that's a grain on the stove. I've only tried with a couple of other foods, but um, I have popped quinoa before. Quinoa is so tiny that you almost don't notice when it pops, so it's really easy to burn it. And the other grain that I've tried is, is sorghum, which is kind of looks like a, 
a corn, it's a little bit more round, where a popcorn is a little bit more oblong, and it's slightly smaller than corn. So when you pop sorghum, you get these little bitty miniature pops, and they're so cute. Um, but most of us are familiar with popcorn, so that's what we're working with today. All right, so we've got our popped corns. We are going to be making our topping now. So I'm going to stir together um, some of our, our toppings. We don't necessarily have to use all of it. So I'm starting with two tablespoons of butter, one tablespoon of soy sauce. I'm using tamari sauce. If anybody is gluten-free, tamari is a gluten-free version of soy sauce. I'm not gluten-free, but I think it has a nice flavor. Oops, don't do this. Hold on, hold on. We want to melt the butter before we put in the soy sauce. Ooh, that was close. All right, we're melting our two tablespoons of butter in the microwave. And then to that, we're going to add one tablespoon of soy sauce and one teaspoon of toasted sesame oil. Who here has done much cooking with toasted sesame oil? Sophie loves it. And we got a couple of other thumbs ups, some a little bit. This is one of my favorite things to add because you don't need very much for a really lovely flavor. You really just need a tiny splash. So we're gonna do a teaspoon because um, we are not necessarily going to be using all of this. It's going in with our melted butter and with our one tablespoon of soy sauce. And then we're gonna stir these things together. So between the soy sauce and the um, sesame oil and some of the other toppings, we're gonna get a really nice and savory topping for our popcorn. And like I said, you can put this topping onto a pre-popped popcorn, but if you're using something that's already been popped, um, like an air popped one, like Boom Chicka Pop or Skinny Pop, those are a couple of popular air popped popcorns, they already add a little bit of flavoring, a little olive oil and sea salt usually. So you're definitely gonna use less of this um, butter and soy sauce mixture. You can also use olive oil for part of this too. That'd be another way to get some healthy fats in. All right, so I'm stirring it up and I'm going to just put a little bit on this popcorn and kind of toss it around until it's how I like it. With this leftover soy sauce and butter mixture, you can do a lot of things with it. And it's got that uh, toasted sesame oil, so you can put that on to salmon, you can put it on to vegetables before you roast them. We're just gonna toss this around a little bit until we have a nice distribution. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I wish you could smell it. All right, so those have been flavored. Now we're gonna do our crunchy toppings. Some of these are gonna add more fiber too, which is what we're here for, right? So we are going to add some peanuts. I'll refer to the recipe, how many peanuts. Obviously you can do however much you want and make this really your own. Um, but when I tested it, I found that a tablespoon of peanuts was really nice. You can chop them or you can just put them straight on top. But the peanuts are gonna also add a little bit of protein, which is gonna make this snack a little bit more satisfying. And then we're also going to do one tablespoon of sesame seeds. Has anybody, um, does anybody have a Hawaiian background has had hurricane popcorn before? This is a, a popular snack, but I have dressed it up a little bit. Does anybody have any experience with Hawaiian hurricane popcorn that you want to share? I've never been to Hawaii. Sounds like we don't have many. Oh, I think that, oh, Aditi, part of your picture looks like the, um, the thumbs up. So I always think that you're giving a thumbs up. It's part of your shirt. All right, so we've got those toppings on there. And then the last crowning glory is really the shining star. And that's these seaweed packets. So you can buy these at most grocery stores in the international aisle. This was from Costco, as you can see, got a whole tray of them because they're so delicious. And they add really nice flavor to, um, to dishes as a garnish, but you can also just eat them like potato chips. They're nice and salty. And um, technically count as a vegetable in my eyes because they are a sea vegetable. Sorry, that's not what we want. All right, so here's what they look like. They come in these little sheets. They're really delicious. You can kind of see through them and we're gonna crumble a couple on there. I think I said about 10. I'm not gonna count them. I like them, more is better. So we're just gonna take these and kind of crush them up. Your hands are probably gonna get nice and green and flaky. 
is like grip them up a little bit and crush them on top of our popcorn. So this is giving us a little bit of uh, savory, a little bit of salty, and some really nice color. So my hands are pretty icky from that. All right, so that's really it. That is all the ingredients. Um, and you can see it's got this nice color. It's got this nice texture. It's got fiber. And this recipe makes about two servings. So you can share this with a friend. Does anybody have any questions or does anybody think they might try making this recipe? Yeah, I have a quick question. Um, sure. If um, oh, I've never popped up corn before in a pot. Yeah. Um, so you said you put a couple tablespoons of um, oil, uh, avocado oil in your pot, right? Yes. OK. So I put about two tablespoons for um, a quarter cup of kernels. And you can kind of adjust it and see what works for you best. And it also depends on your popcorn and how fresh it is, how well it pops. Um, but I find about two tablespoons to a quarter cup is a, is a pretty good ratio. Yeah. But again, the most important part is having that lid on there, because otherwise it'll go woo all over your kitchen. All right, well, thanks for your questions. Does anybody else have anything they want to share? All right, Ellen's going to try it. That's awesome. Let me know how it is. Send a picture if you love it. All right, talk to you all later. We're doing this every Friday at noon, so each week we'll, we'll feature a pretty quick and healthy fiber blasted snack. So we'll see you at the next one. Thanks. Thank you.